All right, Shalawam, another GMS on the go. Slash GMS, keep pushing, collabo. Hey, coming through the spirit of your how about Shimei Awashai, hey, with another um, edifying lesson, Lord's willing, on prayer. Hey, first and foremost, we want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims, man. Come. Pushing this Bible week in and week out, regardless of people here for a bit, man. Keep pushing, man. Right. Hey, man, hey, I'm just going to a little story, you know what I'm saying? Then we're going to bring out some scriptures. This guy, you know what I'm saying, that stay out at the building that I work at. I'm saying going through all kind of problems, man. And see, the first thing Jake, Jake, see, Jake, you know what I'm saying, the first thing the men of the Lord do when we're going through anything, we pray. But the majority of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, that's the last thing that they do, man. Right. Instead of praying, they'll go try to rob a bank when times get hard, <laughs> things get rough. When their baby mama getting on their nerves, and the baby hooping and hollering and crying and all that, they'll go out, grab a gun, and stick somebody up, man. Instead of praying to the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man, for help, man. So this guy, you know what I'm saying, make a long story short, this guy, you know what I'm saying, needed help with his rent or whatever. So I told him, yo, pray to the Lord, man. You know what I mean? I was wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. I ain't giving the names and all that. I was just like, yo, pray to the Lord, man. I was like, why do you think the Lord, you know what I'm saying, is on the scene, man? Why do you think the Lord is the supreme being that he is, man? Mm -hmm. He created us to pray. And this was a Jake, of course. It wasn't no Edomite. It was a Jake, so-called Negro, so-called black man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, we're going through hell, man. Mm -hmm. We're put in different uh, situations, man, that you can't get yourself out of, man. Mm -hmm. That's why prayer is a must, man. Like I told Jake, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, um, one prayer, man, could change your whole life, man. Mm -hmm. One prayer, man. Make a long story short, you know what I'm saying? Hey, he went and prayed. And say, so, you know, he came back, you know what I'm saying, like 30 minutes later, man, said the Lord heard his prayers, man. And this was a Jake that don't even know about the truth, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord answered this man's prayers, bro, in like 15 minutes, man. <laughs> which the Lord already had it set up through the Spirit anyway. Because right. he said um, he know the beginning <clears throat> to the end. So the Lord already know how everything going to play out anyway. You know what I'm saying? The Heavenly Father. But the point is, that Jake was a two-third, you know what I'm saying? Now, he might be part of the elect. I don't know. But he don't know about this truth. And he prayed to, he prayed to the Lord, man. Not even in the names, yo. And his prayers were answered, man. How much more us, man, the men of the Lord is doing what they got to do through the Spirit to the best of their ability. Look, calling on the right names that you have about Shemel Shah. How much more for us, man? That's why it's a must that we constantly keep praying to the Lord, man. Okay. Especially in the times that we're living in, we need the Lord, man, more than ever right about now, man. Okay. And, and one prayer could change your whole life, man. So you want to say something right quick, bro? Nope. nope. Let's get it on. Um, let's get um, First Thessalonians. Chapter five. Yep. See, with, with things like that going on, right. the, the so-called white man, you know what I'm saying, is about to uh, come up with false flags, false terrorist attacks, and they're going to try to blame it on the Hebrew Israelites. We most definitely need to be praying. Right. The time of Jacob's trouble is fastly approaching, man. Pray, Israel. <coughs> pray. In these videos that we do only for the elect of the nation of Israel, pray, man. Brethren, pray. Go ahead, bro. First Thessalonians 5. Yeah, start at 17. Okay. This is uh, the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 17. Right. Pray without ceasing. Yeah, pray without ceasing, man. Don't go a day without praying, man. Look, we surrounded around wickedness, man. You are surrounded around wickedness, man. Wickedness surrounds you, man. The scriptures say pray without ceasing, man. It shouldn't go a day without you praying, man. If you have went like two, three days without praying, something wrong with you, man. Mm -hmm. Something wrong with you, that means you got a demon on you that you need to cast away, man. Right. In the name of Yahweh, but she never shy, man. The scriptures say pray without ceasing, man. Okay. You know, because shit, the scriptures tell you, you know what I'm saying, it's, um, the spiritual demon Satan walking through, man, mm -hmm. trying to see who he can sift, man. Yep. So we got to constantly pray to Yahweh, but she never shy, that he never leave us lonely, man. Right. And never take his Holy Spirit from us, man. Pray without ceasing, man. Mm -hmm. Got something, bro. Yeah, I got that definition for us. Uh, the scripture says pray without ceasing, right? Right. So you go into that word cease, it means to bring or come to an end. Right. So you don't want to never let your prayers come to an end, man. Right. Like you feel like you didn't pray enough so you good for the day, man. No, man. That's, right. that's that's when you fall victim right there, man. If you if you walk around saying you done prayed enough for the day, man, that's the that's a wrong <laughs> spirit to be in, man. You don't supposed to never come out your mouth like yo, yeah, I didn't pray enough today. I done prayed, look, I didn't do my seven prayers. That's what the right. Muslims do, man. Right. 
that's what the Muslim do. They pray to Allah like seven times, or how many times mm -hmm. that they do pray. But that's not being sincere, man. Right. The God of the Bible told us to pray without ceasing, man. Mm -hmm. Look, don't let your prayers in, man. Because it looks a whole lot of things to pray for, man. I know we pray for spiritual gifts, man. God. We pray for more strength. We pray for more faith, courage, more guidance, you know? More knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, you know? Pray for more brotherly love. All of the above, man. Spiritual Don't, discernment. Yeah, yeah, spiritual discernment. Don't be praying for some old nonsense. Um, oh, uh, God, I'll pray for a um, chick with a big booty. You right. know what I'm saying? And her name is Judy. Nah, man. <laughs> pray for spiritual gifts, man. Pray that you endure. Pray for more endurance, man. Right. You know? Because the times that we're living in right about now, man, it's about to really go down, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And you know, it's like you have to really be careful what you pray for. Yeah. Because Jacob prayed for a better job with paying more money. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord be like, okay, I'll give you that. Right. But then the Lord can turn around and have it to where you get some type of ailment and the money you're making from your job has to go through medical bills. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then the job you get, you know what I'm saying? You might get that job, but then that job, you know what I'm saying, um, stops you from coming out every Saturday. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You'll get a job, you know what I'm saying, a high-paying job or whatever. And that's saying, you know, you ain't really out on the highways and byways with the brethren every weekend no more. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful, man. That's why the scripture say, give us this day our daily bread, man. Be content with what you got. If the God of the Bible, if your job, you no know saying, is able to pay your bills, you no know saying, you only got a little bit of money, so what? But you're still able to come out and teach this truth, then you yeah. keep that job, man. Okay. You keep that job. Okay. I need a stack, y'all. I need a stack, y'all. I need a Bugatti, y'all. I need a Bugatti. That's saying, you know, you get that job that you always desired to have. That's saying, you know, you ain't out on the highways right. and byways every Saturday, man. Right. So you got to be careful, man. God. Go ahead. That was it. Some more definition? That was pretty much yeah, it. Yeah, end, stop. Yeah. Terminate. Right. You don't want to terminate your prayers, man. Right. The scripture said, pray without ceasing, man. You got Jake, you know what I'm saying? You got Jake, you know what I'm saying? And the rest of these heathens, they pray for a better body. Mm -hmm. I, I want muscles. I pray for muscles, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All this other nonsense, man. But they don't pray for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, which is going to keep them stable and all hell break loose, man. That's right. Let's read on, bro. Uh, uh, 17 and 18. Let's start at 17 again. Yep. This is the uh, book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 17. Right. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Don't let your prayers in, man. Mm -hmm. You just don't know how much one prayer can do, man, in your life, man. Just one prayer, man, can change your whole life, man. You d never give up, man. Because, mm -hmm. look, when you stop praying, that means you done gave up already, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You done lost hope, bro. You done lost faith, man. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Go ahead. Quick definition. Yeah. Uh, pray. It says... Uh, Address a solemn request right. or expression of thanks to a deity or other object of worship. Right, because the word prayer means to beg, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You begging your how about Shim Yaw Shah for something, man. Yep. What would it say again, bro? It's a uh, pray for the uh, online dictionary says address a solemn request or expression of thanks to a deity or other object of worship. Right, yeah, when you're praying to your how about Shim Yaw Shah, you gotta right. be deadly serious, man. Right. You can't come to your house by Shemel Shah um, half stepping, man. Put it say that in James anyway, yep. if you want to get that right quick, bro. James 1 was it 1 and 5. Um, if a uh, man you. lack of knowledge, yep, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, read yep. it right quick. It's the book of uh, James, chapter 1, verse 5. Right. If any of you lack wisdom, right. so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, right. let him ask of the Most High. Yeah, let you pray to the Most High, man. You know what I'm saying? When you're asking for something, you're praying for something, man. Right. You know? And look, if you lacking the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, man. Right. Not the wisdom of wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? Of how to do some old nonsense, man. No, it's talking about of the scriptures, man. Right. Go ahead. This is James 1 and 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the most high. Right. Like like Jake, you know what I'm saying? No, he, he don't really know too many breakdowns or whatever. But he, he'll stay just stuck on there. He won't even pray for more knowledge and all right. that. But the scriptures say, if you lacking anything... Mm -hmm. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, which is going to keep us stable, ask for it, man. Mm -hmm. Jake too busy asking the God of the Bible for new rims and all that, bro. You know what yep. I'm saying? Look, I want a fine woman. I want a big house. I yep. want some rims and all that. They don't never pray for the knowledge, wisdom, mm -hmm. understanding of the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. And they most definitely lacking that, man. Mm -hmm. Like you said, um, more spiritual discernment. Yep. Our people need to be praying for that. Go ahead, bro. Yep, this is uh, James 1 and 5. If any of you lack wisdom... Let him ask of the Most High. Right. 
they, look, so like your brokers, yep. who else can you ask for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man? Who else can you ask but the Heavenly Father and His Son? You have a shot, man. Right. Let them ask it of the Most High. Go ahead. They give it to all men liberally. Hey, look, they give it, He give it to all men, Hebrew Israelite men. Right. Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian men. Look, liberally, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Liberally means freely, man. The God of the Bible, you know what I'm saying? Only thing, your payment, your only requirement of payment is your time, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's how the God of the Bible charges us, bro, with our mm -hmm. time, man. <clears throat> That's why I said spend your time wisely. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Spend your time wisely, man. We spending right. we spending money right about now. We we buying right. back, you know what I'm saying, what we have been given, man. By putting effort to it, by putting in time, you know what I'm saying? Right. But what do Jake do? Jake go around spending the time like they got counterfeit money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I it's, I got plenty of monopoly right. money. I can just, you know, nah man. The Lord wants you to pay him pay him with it with your time, man. Right. You know, Jake just wasted the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did the day go on past? You know what I'm saying they ain't did nothing uh, proactive, man. Mm -hmm. According to the scriptures, man. Go ahead. It says James one and five. It reads on. They give it to all men liberally, right? And a braid of not. That's right. Look, the Most High ain't gonna hold nothing back from you, man. Mm -hmm. Look, look. If you're a servant of the Lord and you out here teaching on the highways and byways, of course you have, but you know what I'm saying? Gonna hold no um no mysteries from you, man. You know what I'm saying? The knowledge mm -hmm. from you. And if you're lacking the knowledge, you ask your how about Shemel Shah, he's going to put it on one of his servants, the apostles, the elders, or another brother to do a lesson on the question that you need answered mm -hmm. or the scriptures that you need a breakdown to. You're going you're gonna to be searching through the channels. Let's say no, you're going to click on a video. You're like, man, yo, that's the question. No, my question just got answered. That's your how about Shemel Shah giving you the answer, man, liberally, mm -hmm. man, freely, man. The only thing you had to do was just ask for it, man. Yep. He's going to always put it on the spirit on one of his servants to do a lesson on it. Okay. Quick precept. Yep. Uh, it's the book of St. John, chapter uh, 7. I'm going to start at 37 points and 38. Yeah. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahweh Shah stood and cried, saying, If any man thirsts, let him come unto me right. and drink. That's right. Verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Yep, out of his mind shall flow rivers of living water, man. Mm -hmm. If you believe on Yahweh, but Shemel Shine, it's written in red right there, so that's, that's Lord right. Yahweh Shai speaking. That's right. He said, You believe on me as the scripture have said, mm -hmm. out of his belly, meaning out of his mind shall flow rivers of living water. You're going to always be coming up with topics, that's right. lessons, so forth and so on. Why? Because you believe on Yahweh, but Shemel Shai, and you're showing yourself diligent to the word, too. You know what I'm saying? You're studying, mm -hmm. you're researching, you're looking up words, mm -hmm. so forth and so on, man. So out of your mind, it's going to come lessons, man. That's right. More knowledge, more understanding, more yep. wisdom, man. Yep. And it's going to show, man. Yep. And wisdom going to make your face to shine, man. Yep. People going to see that glow on you. They might not understand what's going on, but some people do. They're like, yo, you like, you read a lot. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Remember that woman said that to me one time. I was walking down the street, yo. She looked at me. She was like, yo, you like, you read a lot, yo. Right. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I read a little bit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But it was like she could see something on me that I, I really couldn't see. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause it, cause you, you know what I'm saying? These people looking at you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you believe on the Lord as the scripture I've said. Hey, you're going to come up with different topics. Lesson. Because the Lord going to be constantly feeding you, bro. That's constantly right. Constantly feeding you, man, through the spirit, man. That's right. But it but starts off with prayer, though, you know? Mm hmm So go back. Okay. It says, uh, I'm going to finish all that, James. Yeah. <laughs> James 1 and 5 it says that any of you lack wisdom let him ask of the most high right. to give it to all men liberally and a braid of not right. and it shall be given that's right that's why we got to constantly pray this guy no saying he ain't in any truth he has he prayed to the God of the Bible no saying which he probably just said God or Lord or whatever mm -hmm. no saying he needed help with his rent and his prayer was answered man <clears throat> I'm saying look the God of the Bible was like yo his faith no saying made, mm -hmm. made that come to um, the past him having faith in the God of the Bible he didn't even know the names and his prayer will answer. How how much more for the men to actually know the names and praying and believing on the names, man? That's how much right. more for us, man? Okay. Know the God of the Bible is going to answer our, our prayers, man. Okay. He constantly do all the time, man. All the time. That's it on that. Yeah, I'm going to go at First Thessalonians. Yeah. This is First Thessalonians 5 and 18. Right. And everything give thanks. Look, and in everything give thanks, man. Mm-hmm. No matter what it is, man, the ups, the downs, the rounds and rounds and all this, that and the third, thank you how about Shemel Shah for it, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Cause that, that builds character too, man. Kind you know? Cause if every day, you know what I'm saying, is a sunny day, then what's a bad day? Right. You know what I'm saying? If every day is a bad day, then what's a sunny day, man? Right. You can't have one without the other, man. Mm -hmm. 
the guy the Bible is gonna bless you, but then he gonna kick your tail sometimes. You know what I'm saying? He gonna right. think he gonna take you through it sometimes, man. It's only to better us, man. Mm -hmm. You know, Jake just want all the good from the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But then as soon as the Lord start putting a little bit of hell on him, oh, I ain't signed up for that. Yes, you did. Right. You got to pray to be able to endure through all that, man, right. all the hell that you catching, man. You know? You smiling when the Lord bless you, you know what I'm saying, with a new car or whatever. Right. But then as soon as the Lord, you know what I'm saying, start kicking your ass, you know what I'm saying, right. that's saying you know you got a frown on your face. You turning right. your back on the Lord now. Come on, man. Nah, man. Right. Pray for more strength, you know? Yep. Go ahead. It says, um, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18. Right. And everything give thanks, for this is the will of the Most High, Hamashiach, Yahushai, concerning you. Right. Look, you wake up, you're still able to breathe, walk, talk, see here, make a um, good bowel movement. Yep. You think you have about Shem Yahushai. You wake up every morning, you know what I'm saying? You still got this knowledge. Yep. You think you have about Shem Yahushai, man. Thanks. And everything yep. give thanks, man. Your fingers able to move, you able to grab stuff, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You know? You able to wake up and do a lesson, you know? Mm -hmm. you, you think you have about Shem Yahushai for everything, man. That's you right. catching hell, you thank the Lord for that, man. Yep. It says, um, rejoice. When you start catching hell or whatever, when you yep. start to suffer, rejoice, man. Mm -hmm. And suffering ain't don't feel good, but you know it's something you got to go through, man. That's right. So you rejoice in it, man. The Lord could be taking, like I told that dude earlier, you know what I'm saying, at work or whatever, man. Look, it can always be worse, man. Yep. Look, bro, it can always get worse, man, you That's know? That's right. That's the end on that, bro. Yeah, that's it. Get on, um, get on um, Philippians chapter four, verse six, and it's just a just a short lesson through the spirit of how about Shemel Shah on prayer, man. How important it really is, man. I mean, prayer is one of the most important things out there, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Faith, prayer. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Brotherly love, courage, knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Those are some important gifts right there, man. That you need, man. Yep. Wait. Well, this is the book of Philippians. Chapter 4, verse 6. Right. It says, Be careful for nothing. Right. But in everything by prayer and supplication. Right. Look, look. By everything, pray. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Before you do anything, pray on it, man. Mm -hmm. Look, before I even get on the bus to go to work in the morning, y'all, pray, y'all. Pray yep. to you have a bunch of shot and I'm able to make it to work safe, man. Yep. Before, when I, before I step out my door, I pray, man. When I get up, I pray, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't put a limit on prayer, man. Right. You can't say, oh, yeah, I pray three times a day. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I pray when I woke up this morning. I pray in the evening. And I pray when I got ready to lay down. You don't right. do that, man. You constantly pray to your house by right. shot. Look, you could be walking down the street and pray. Right. You know? You could be laying in your bed and just praying, you know? Right. Driving your car. Before brothers drive their car, pray. Yep. Before brothers even turn on the camera, pray. Yep. Through the spirit of your house by Shemel Shai, that your lessons are edifying, man. And that the God of the Bible controls your lips, man. Your, your thought patterns, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To do the good works, man. Read that one more time, bro. Yep, this is probably... If you want to chime in, you know what I'm saying? Feel free. Hey, what, Master P say? No limit, right? Right. Well, there's no limit to praying, man. That's right. Pray without ceasing. Pray without stopping, man. Right. The Spirit hops on you to pray. Just pray, man. That's right. You know? Whether it's for brothers, okay? Whether it's, it, it, it's for uh, uh, more wisdom, more right. knowledge, okay? More, more fear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot that. You know? Yeah, I forgot about that. I can't even believe I forgot about that. That's one of my heaviest <laughs> one right there. Yeah, I fear. know. I know. You know what I'm saying? So lock you on that. Yeah, most definitely fear. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Pray for more fear of the Lord, man. Because once you fear, you have a bunch of shot, you ain't got to worry about fearing nothing else, you know? That's right. This is Philippians 4 and 6. Let your moder... Slack you. Philippians 4 and 6. Be careful for nothing. Right. But in everything by prayer. Because you know how Jake is, you know what I'm saying? Jake get ready to pray. Jake be like, nah, I know the Lord ain't going to give me that right there. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think the Lord will do me that. No, the Lord said, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't waver, man. That's right. When you pray to your house, but you know you got to know that he's going to answer your prayer, man. That's right. He said, don't waver, man. When you pray to me, don't waver, man. You That's know what I'm right. saying? Don't, don't have that doubt demon on you, man. Right. And know that the Lord's going to answer that prayer on his time. Yeah, on his turn. On his turn. Yeah. You know? When he get ready, you know? Right. It's Philippians 4 and 6. Right. It reads on, but in everything by prayer and supplication. That's right. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto the Most High. Yeah, let your request be made <clears throat> known to Yahweh by Shem man. Mm -hmm. You know? Let it be known. Speak to the Lord, man. Yeah. Speak to Yahweh by Shem They hear you. Yeah. Um, the scriptures tell you that um, the righteous prayer of, of, um, of a righteous man availeth for much. Just roughly paraphrasing, you know? Mm -hmm. Get um, we'll bring out a couple more, bro. Then we'll wrap it up. Huh. Get um, get Psalm sixty six and twenty, bro. Yeah. 
is the book of Psalms 66 and 20. Right. Blessed be the Most High. Right. Which have not turned away my prayer. Look, blessed be the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem <coughs> uh -huh. Look, which have not turned away my prayer, man. That's right. He didn't look at your prayer life. I ain't trying to hear that, man. Like with two thirds, the scriptures say, um, he did uh, turn his way, uh, his ear away from hearing the law of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Even his prayer shall be an abomination. abomination. So the God of the Bible is turning his ear away from the prayer of two thirds, man. Right. But the righteous, the elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing, we part of that. The God of the Bible hears our prayers, man. Right. He don't turn his ear away from our prayers, man. You know, right. we serving you how about Shemiel Shah, you know? If I may chime in yep. real quick, bit, bro. Because yep. the scripture says, blessed be the most high. Right. Not blessed be your woman. Right. Your job. Buddha, Allah, Buddha, Maria, Allah. The Hindu God of Shiva and all right. the other nonsense. You know what I'm saying? The boss in your job. Right. You know, it says, blessed be the most high. Because what? The most high is, what, is, is who you so-called Negro Latinos Native Americans had to go to, man. Right. You know? He's the one that's going to hear us, man. That's right. You know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because you know he sent his only begotten son. Yeah. So his son, you know what I'm saying, give our prayers to the Heavenly Father, you know? Yeah. Because he the mediator. Mm -hmm. He tell you that in um, St. John 14 and 6. The only way you're going to get to the Most High is through his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. So when we pray, Lord Yahweh shall hear our prayers, man. Mm -hmm. and then he, he give them to the Heavenly Father, you know what I'm saying? That's right. That's how your prayers get answered, man. So order with everything, man. You can't just go straight to the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. You got to most definitely go through the Son, man, the Mediator, man, our Lord and Savior, man, which is a wonderful thing. Right. It's always about order, man. That's right. Read it again, bro. Yep, Psalm 66 and 20. Blessed be the Most High, which have, which have not turned away my prayer. That's right. Nor his mercy from me. Mm-hmm. The God of the Bible constantly shows us compassion, man. Yeah. Each and every second of the day, man, we always being shown compassion, man. Yep. Mercy, man. Mercy, 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 man. The tender mercies of the Lord, man. Like mm -hmm. the scripture have said, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, it's a wonderful thing to, for your prayers to be heard, though, bro. That's right. Hey, look, it's a wonderful thing to know that your prayers are being heard. That's right. You know? You know your prayers are being heard. It's a wonderful feeling, man. You know? Kind. That's it on that, bro? Kind, yep. Get, um... So rock 37 and 25. Cause you want to, you want to constantly pray to your how about Shemel Shah that he keep you down there on that righteous path, you know? Mm -hmm. You don't you want your how about Shemel Shah to like, yo, I don't need this man no more. And then that's how you know you down that crooked, that crooked path now. You know what I'm saying? That wide gate. You ain't on the straight gate no more. You on that wide gate. You don't want to fall on that path. Go ahead. That's what I wanted. Nah. So rock um 37 and 25. Yeah. But see, you know, yeah. that's the thing, you know, I had, uh, I got, you know, personally speaking for myself, you know, um, it's been many occasions where the Lord's answered my prayers. I remember one night, um, I had this, uh, this, um, guy that stayed downstairs for me, man, this Ishmaelite good dude, man, and I mean, he would just party and party like every night, man, you know, blasting music, you know, and, and to the point where, you know, I, I never got any sleep. You know, I wake up in the middle of the night, he blasting music, playing video games. And so I got fed up, man. I know, I just, I just, I, I sincerely prayed to you. How about you? I was shy, man. And oh, that yeah, same 15. night. 15? Yeah, I'm saying, finish what you were saying, though. That same night, as soon as I ended my prayer, the noise went away. And it didn't come back. And and, and the Lord had had that instrument like move out, man. Right. That same week. Right. You know? We can't make this stuff up, man. The Lord hears the prayers of, of, of his men, of the righteous, man. That's why prayer is so important, man. You know, you, you be maybe going through things in life, which we all do. And look, pray. And pray without ceasing. That's right. Um, read, um, matter of fact, um, get um, so Rock 36 and <clears throat> start at 16 and 17. Kind. And then I got some in 37, which I read. Yep, Sirach 36 and 16. Right. Reward them that wait for thee. Look, reward them, a.k.a. the elect of the nation of Israel, that wait for thee. Okay? This is a prayer right here, man. This is a prayer right here, man. We pray for the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Kind. Reward them that wait on thee, O Lord. Kind. It, re it reads on, so, uh, Sirach 36 and 16, reward them that wait for thee. Right. And let thy prophets be found faithful. Right. And Lord willing, we'll be found faithful, man. 
Because God the Bible said, no saying, when he comes, shall there be faith on the yeah. earth? That's yeah. how it's going it's to look, a whole lot of people going to lose <clears throat> faith in that day, man. That's why we got to constantly pray, man. That mm -hmm. the God of the Bible keeps that faith within us, man. To keep believing in the things that we don't see, man. Because the majority of these people, they got to see things to believe in it, man. We don't, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 17, Sirach 36 and 17. But shit, you don't want to be in this truth one minute, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's ain't no all hell break loose. That's ain't no you take the damn chip and all that shit. You ain't found faithful when right. the Lord pop up on that scene, man. Right. You know? You end up turning back into a wicked ass nigga. You don't want that to happen, man. Right. Because a, a lot of that's going to happen, man. You want to be one of the um, servants that's found faithful, man. Right. Turn back into a wicked, bloodthirsty nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Way worse than you was before you even came into the truth. Right. We walking around here like the Tasmanian devil. Right. <laughs> yeah. Phone running out of your yeah. mouth. You know what I'm saying? Right. This is Sirach 36 and 17. Or do you want 16 yep. again? 17. Cunt. Oh Lord. Yep. Hear the prayer of thy servants. Yeah, oh Lord. You have by Shemel Shai. Hear the prayer of thy servant. But how the God of the Bible going to hear your prayers if you ain't praying, man? Mm, right. You know? The only way the God of the Bible is going to hear our prayers if we praying, man. Right. You know? And we are the servants of the Lord, right? We out here on the highways and byways doing the work. Right. We're doing sit-down videos. You know what I'm saying? That's commanded of us. So the God of the Bible said, I'm going to hear the prayers of my servants, man. Right. Go ahead. It reads on, Sirach 36 and 17. O Lord, hear the prayer of thy servants. Right. According to the blessings of Aaron over thy people. Right. That they all, that all they which dwell upon the earth may know that thou art the Lord. The eternal power. That's right. And we constantly praying to you how about you know try to hurry up and destroy America too, man. Kind. You know what I'm saying? And Lord willing, we get redeemed up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? That's one of our main prayers too, man, before we go to sleep. That the God of the Bible hurry up and come back and destroy this place called America along with two-thirds and these healers, man. Right. So we can get up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the works of you have about Shemel Shah going to be made known, man. Kind. Like everybody bugging out right about now, you know what I'm saying? Tearing up these stores and all that. Hey, look, we pray to you have about Shemel Shah. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you know what I'm saying? Look, we be wise. We go get water or whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? But we're not buying like two, three hundred dollars worth of grocery and all that. Right. Bro, stacking it up, buying meats and all this, then the third. Ten loaves of yeah, bread. Yeah, ten loaves of bread and all that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, like five, six watermelons and all that. Nah, man. <laughs> right. We ain't doing all that. We might get some water or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Some baby food, however the thing might go. You know what I'm saying? Fruit canned goods. Yeah, fruit canned goods, whatever. And then we Wait out the storm, yo. Yeah. You, you gotta constantly pray though, man, that you mm -hmm. that you the God of Bible protect you and your family, man. That's right. Yeah, that's it on that. We'll we'll yeah. bring out one more. Um Did you want that one in 37? Yeah, 15? yeah, get you yeah, get 37 and um Yep. 15, right? Yeah. Cut. Okay. Yep. I'll bring that out while you Yeah, yeah, that's this it. This is Sirach 37 and 15. Right. And above all this, right, pray to the most high. Yep. That he will direct thy way in truth. Yep, and look, man, that's, pray to you how about Shemel Shah that he constantly keep the spirit on you to teach the truth, man. Mm -hmm. You do not want to take a bribe, man. You know what I'm saying? You praying that you get rich and all this and you get famous and all that. No, you want to pray to the God of the Bible that he keeps you in his truth, man. <laughs> he keeps he keeps the spirit on you to teach the truth, that's man. Because right. you got guys that came in, you know what I'm saying? Now they teaching lies, man, teaching mm -hmm. false doctrine, man. They didn't pray for the God of the Bible to put the spirit on them to keep teaching the truth, bro. They like, yo, the hell with the truth, man. I look, I'm better off teaching lies. I get paid more to teach lies. You know what I'm saying? I don't get paid nothing to teach the truth. But the men of the Lord, the servants of Yahweh, but Shemel Shah are going to pray to the God of the Bible, man. Mm -hmm. That he keeps the spirit on you to keep teaching the truth according to the right. Bible, man. Not lies, man. Right. Even though Jake wants you to teach lies, <clears throat> no. Pray to the God of the Bible that he puts the spirit in you to teach the truth, man. That's right. Because the truth is going to set our people free, not lies, man. That's right. That's going to set us free mentally, man. Right. Because, you know, we're still up under, you know. Uh, mentally and spiritually. Yeah. You know, we're still up under bondage. Right. But it's going to set us free mentally and spiritually, like Big Bro said, you know. I'm going to read up. Yeah, Once read again. it again, bro. Yeah. This is Sirach 37 and 15. And, and you know, as it, the scripture is saying, you know, you supposed to pray to your how about Shimia Shai, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, not right. Jesus Christ. Right. Not Yahshua. Not Big Man upstairs. Right. Not Buddha, not Allah. You supposed to pray to the most high Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai. Man. That's right. Look, Who, not a higher Shia. Right. You know? Not to the spiritual demon Satan. Right. Like these uh these uh, these entertainers do. That's right. These athletes do. Okay? Sirach 37 and 15. And above all this, pray to the Most High that He would direct thy way 
and truth, man. That's right. And the truth is the wisdom and knowledge of understanding these scriptures. He's going, look, this is the guideline. This is the path. You know? That's right. So you, you're supposed to pray to the to the Most High. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, the Lord, man. And it's a path, it's a path of difficulty. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're in a world of, uh, surrounded by wickedness. Yep. So you teach the truth, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have a whole lot of oppositions, but hey, look, it's worth it, man. Yeah. It's worth it in the end game. It's worth it, man. <clears throat> mm hmm. Let me see if I want to bring this up. You can get, um, you can get St. Luke 21 and 36. I'm going to see if I want this one right quick. Let me see. There's a book of St. Luke 21 and 36. It reads, it's written in red, so it's Lord Yahweh Shah speaking. Right. Watch ye therefore. That's right. Watch what? Watch for the prophecies, man. You know? It says, and pray all look, and pray always. Like we read, like we open this the scripture up with. Pray without ceasing, man. First Thessalonians. Pray without ceasing, man. You put to pray always. Okay? It says that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass. And that's another cut, man. No one's saved, man. Right. You know? Pray so you're able to escape martial law, the famine, the race riots, the RFID chip, okay? Um, uh, the ICBM missiles, man. Jacob's trouble. Kind. Pray, man. I'm reading. Read it again. Yep. This is the book of St. Luke 21 and 36. Watch, like, like the scripture says, you know, uh, 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 we're, we're considered watchmen, man. Going back to um, 2 Ezra 9 and 1. Measure the times. Okay? It says, Watch ye therefore and pray always. That's right. We see, we see America going down, man. Right. We're visualizing it. We're seeing martial law troops come up through the streets, man, right. of America. We seeing Jake getting uh getting busy in the race riots, man. We see Esau coming in with uh uh, uh uh the Gurga troops. That's right. Okay. We see the RFID chip being um uh, uh issued to our people on a mass scale, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why you gotta constantly pray. Right. Cause you want to you, you want to uh, be able to be found worthy, man. Yeah, you want to be accounted worthy, as the scriptures have said, man. Mm -hmm. To escape all those things, it don't get bad out here, man. Mm -hmm. You have cannibalism. You got people being ate right in front of your face, man. Mm -hmm. And you most definitely want to um, escape all that, man. You want to get ate out here by nobody, man. You know, shit. You have lions and all that mangling people up. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> don't get bad out here, man. You got snakes out here swallowing people whole. Right. You want to be accounted worthy to escape all that. Then you have Lord Yahweh shot popping up in the, in the biggest um, chariot ever known in mankind. That's with the right. multitude of angels and, and simultaneously the uh, ICBM missiles. So you want to be kind of worthy to escape all that, man. That's right. You know? Like um, if they do happen to put you in a concentration camp, you want to be worthy. You want to be accounted worthy to get up out of that thing, man. That's right. You want an angel to come, you know what I'm saying, and then release you, man. That's right. This is Luke 12, um, so like, this is Luke 21 and 36. Right. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Right. That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. Right. And to stand That's before right. the Son of Man. And look, because it's going to get bad out here, man. Mm -hmm. By the time Lord Yahweh shall come, a whole lot of people going to be in lost faith and everything, bro. Because yeah. it's going to seem like it ain't no hope. Mm -hmm. why, would, why would Lord Yahweh shall, why would Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shall say, shall he find faith on the earth, man? Right. If it wasn't going to get that bad, man, you saw what Ezra did. Ezra said, what was me? Right. What was me in those days if nobody <laughs> yeah, don't did. deliver me, man? Yeah, he did. Bad out here, man. Right. That's it on that, bro? Yeah, that's it. I got some. This is um, 2 Ezra chapter um, 8, verse um, 24. 2 Ezra chapter 8, verse 24. Oh, hear the prayer of thy servant, mm -hmm. and give ear to the petition of thy creature. The creature goes back That's to creation. Yep. And I got um that word um uh, petition means request. Mm -hmm. you know so what I'm saying? so Ezra is saying, look, it, look, hear us, hear, hear us, Lord. Right. Hear our prayers, hear our requests. What well, we're speaking to you, man. Right. You know? Right. It says um appealing to authority. Mm -hmm. Look, with respect to a particular cause. That's right. And the in the, the, the Ezra is going respectfully to the yep. Lord. Look, to the most high, man. That's right. You better come respectfully, man. That's right. You know? Look, a formal written request, typically one signed by many people. 
And that's the elect yep. coming with the same prayer. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um, some synonyms, it means appeal. Um, look, make or present a formal request mm -hmm. to an authority with respect to a particular cause. Same thing, um, yep. request, ask. Mm -hmm. Look, look, beg. And, you, and you're damn right we begging, man. Right. You know? That's right. We're begging for more fear, more wisdom. Right. More knowledge, more spiritual discernment, more brotherly love. Right. Okay? It says plead with. Look, man, plead. We're pleading with uh, Yahweh Shai, our case to the Heavenly Father, man. Right. You know? Look, look, um, press or urge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we pressing. We ready to get the hell up out of here, man. Right. So we pressing, we pressing the issue, you know what I'm right. saying? Right. Yeah, because we're trying to get the fuck up out of here, man. Right. But with all that, we kind of constantly pray, man. That's right. To endure whatever's going to come our way, man. Whatever the God of the Bible got um, set for us to eat mm -hmm. on our plate, so to speak, mm -hmm. we pray that we endure through it, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't pray for a better life. You pray to the spirit of you have by Shemir Rashad that you're able to um, endure the life that you're That's living right. now, man. That's right. You know? You got Jake pray. I want a better life. I want a better life. Nah, pray to the God of the Bible that you're able right. to make it through the life that it's giving you, man. Right. You know? That you're able to endure, man. You just want to do a lesson on prayer through the spirit, man. This guy, you know, so I told this guy earlier just to pray to the God of the Bible. Mm -hmm. He was having trouble, you no know, saying, paying his rent. He went and prayed 15 minutes later, you know, so he came back with the biggest smile on his face, eyes right. all watery. Right. So I was like, bro, prayer, it worked, bro. Right. I just had to come and tell you, man. I wouldn't have felt right enough <laughs> if I wouldn't have came and told you that prayer do work, man. Right. You know? Right. He got his rent paid and, you know what I'm saying, somebody gave him extra money to put in his pocket, bro. They ain't talking about no little money either, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, you got anything you want to say, bro, before we close? Uh, yeah, you know, um, you know, prayer is something that it, 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 it's not like you're lifting weights, man. Right. Prayer is, is the most uh, uh, easiest, thing you, can easiest do, really. thing you can do. Yeah. You know? It ain't like you uh, uh, working out. Right. You can be walking and praying. You can I be know, that's in right. your head. You know, you may be on the bus or driving or whatever the case may be, and you just pray to the Lord, man. Right. You know? It's not like he's asking you to do 100 backflips and, right. then, and then asking for something. It's not arithmetic, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. It's not algebra. Kind. Okay. Prayer, man, request, beg. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is, man. Okay. Hey, just a quick lesson through the Spirit on prayer, man. Lord willing, brothers are edified, man. Mm -hmm. Pray without ceasing, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to this Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to you sincere Akim, man. Look, pray without ceasing. Okay. Shalom. Shalom.